Awesome. All right. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Brenton, and I'm founder of Aldea. Aldea is one of Unbounded's portfolio companies, and I'm here to tell you a little about what we're doing and the current state of it. So let's get into it. All right. Yeah, we're building Aldea. Aldea we call the blockchain for builders. And a quick intro to me, uh, I was a former engineer at uh, Snapchat and Microsoft and kind of been kind of in the big tech world for a while. In 2018, I left to dive full into blockchain and been in the space doing some interesting stuff, which I'll talk about. Um, but that eventually led us to discover what maybe a better blockchain could be. So that's what we're going to present today. This works. So let me tell you a little bit about why we're doing what we're doing. Um, when I was getting started in coding, it was still possible for an individual person to make an app or a game or something that many people used. And that's become a lot harder over time as platforms have sort of dominated our, our experiences. Um, the, the power of blockchains is, is that you can make an app um, or a game that integrates with other apps and other games that are already out there. And that enables new application developers to build experiences that don't exist today. So I have a one-year-old son, and my hope for him is that when he gets to become you know, a teenager and gets involved in coding, he'll be able to make new experiences based on existing apps that are already out there. Um, and the problem, though, is that today's blockchains are, well, they're slow, they're complex, um, they're expensive to use. Uh, to give some like tangible uh, uh, examples, uh, most blockchains require you to learn a new language. It's not a language you already know. And if you imagine trying to learn a new speaking language, you're learning Spanish, if you say the wrong word, it might be embarrassing, but it's not actually a big deal. But if you say the wrong word with some uh, uh, blockchain languages, you can cause people to lose tens of thousands of millions of dollars. And uh, this, is, this is a real problem. In fact, when you look across the space at what has caused the major blockchains when they get hacked to, to actually have that happen, uh, it's usually due to very uh, small details that are, that are tricky to learn as a developer. And even the best developers get this wrong. So it's very important that we meet developers where they're already at. And on the user side, the, the fact that you have to buy tokens to use blockchain apps is just crazy to me. This isn't the, like when was the last time you were on Facebook and you were asked to pay for their server costs? It just doesn't happen. Um, and so these are real problems, and we need a better blockchain for that. And so we've formed an opinion on what that would look like, and I'm happy to tell you about sort of our, our general thesis on that. It's, it's called Aldea, and we're taking three sort of big different angles compared to what other blockchains have done. Um, the first one is TypeScript. Uh, for the non-developers in the room, most of the apps on your phone or on the web use TypeScript in some form. It's known by 40% of developers worldwide, and this is a huge level up. We're the first TypeScript native blockchain in existence, and this is due to some recent tech that has become possible. Uh, the second thing is that uh, view source. What do I mean by that? We call ourselves the GitHub of blockchains, and what that means is that if you want to integrate with an existing app or an existing token that's already out there, you can find the code for that token very easily. Believe it or not, that's actually really hard today on most blockchains. The code is opaque; it's not easily found on the blockchain. It's not on the blockchain at all. It's not easily found outside the blockchain either. And the third thing is performance. We've optimized the hell out of this. We're really trying to make this as cheap and as efficient as possible. That's where you can get the costs down for users, where users don't have to buy tokens to use apps. So those are the three main ideas we're bringing to the table. We didn't start building Aldea. We actually started by building Run. We call this now our MVP. But this was a token, a smart contract protocol. I was actually on BSV. And developers loved it. We had a lot of the main ideas that we're doing in Aldea, which were present in Run. And it got a ton of traction. We had uh, apps and games and wallets and exchanges. Some people in the room have used it before, and they'll, they'll happy to tell you about it. Um, but uh, we did over 600 million transactions in this MVP, uh, which is roughly equivalent to what Ethereum does, the market leader. Um, and then we sort of realized through that process what it would take to actually do this in a bigger way. So who's our team? Uh, we have five of us. It's uh, three developers, a designer, and eight partnerships. A um, little bit about us, I come from obviously a big tech background, Microsoft and Snapchat. Uh, we have Rice, who's our head of partnerships, and he comes from Immutable X, the gaming-focused blockchain. He's worked with games in Web3, knows that space well, knows what they need. In fact, this is one of the reasons he's working with us. And then uh, on the developer side, we have Mige. Mige comes from Argentina, where they actually need cryptocurrency there. Um, and he's built uh, one of those popular wallets out there, as well as other various other things as well. We have a good background. We have a highly experienced team for this job, but 
here's something you probably can't tell from the resume, which is that we all faced this problem that we're trying to solve before. We're building the blockchain that we ourselves would want to use. Um, and that's true for, for all of us. So we are a company uh, and we're building a blockchain. Um, the way the company is going to make money is we're going to be an infrastructure provider for the blockchain. So we're going to run nodes and APIs and developer tools for the network. Um, the incentives for that are that the more applications, the more transactions get published, uh, the more revenue we'll make as a company. And this is very similar to like how the cloud works today. Uh, and, and, and that part is pretty simple. But we're also a blockchain, so it's important to talk about you know, what the blockchain could be worth as well. Uh, projections say maybe this is you know, a $32 trillion industry, maybe a $25 trillion industry to listen to Kathy Wood. And a lot of that, um, a lot of where that's going to come from in the next five or 10 years is going to come from, well, of course, there's the institutional side, definitely. But our perspective is that no major tech company, no major game studio today is using blockchains in a serious way. And we think that that's where a lot of the value is going to come from. And that's where we're focused on. Um, this is changing quickly, though. In the past two months, uh, Zynga and Sega, both major game studios, have announced that they're going to start diving into blockchain in a, in a bigger way. And so we're right at the beginning of this, this wave. So here's where we're at. Uh, in the past year, we've built a ton of product. We have um, a node. We have an explorer. We have all the key pieces for the blockchain ready to go. We're getting ready to launch our DevNet next year. This is our first test network for the blockchain. And our goal is to use that to get partners and then launch our main net next year. So we're at kind of a pivotal moment of the company. And if you have any questions or want to know more about our technology or how we're going to get adoption, please talk to me after the talk. I'm happy to you know, get all into it. So thank you for the time today.